you recommend cold calling? I think probably what I would suggest is, you know, if you're, I would probably suggest the driving for dollars where you're driving around a neighborhood and trying to find houses that look vacant and um, your time is probably better spent leaving a nice little note on that door and <clears throat> better yet even going to knock on the neighbor's doors and talk to them and right. see if they have some connection to the owner or know who it is. So at least the calls you're making are... Um, you know, you Productive. Least, yeah. As a real estate investor, you want to do the highest, the high. You want to do the most value for your time, right? So you want to say you want to do the things that produce the biggest um, bang for your buck, so to speak. I want to go out and find better ways to find better leads and be looking for leads, right? Be searching leads, because cold calling is um, tough job. If you're not wired for it, if your personality is not wired for it you will get burned out in two seconds. That's not the way that, you know, that's not the way you want to fail, right? That's that's a hard way of failing because you're going to get beat up on the phone, like you said, because people are rude. And most people would be rude. If you call me and say, you want to buy my house? I'm like, I was in the middle of having dinner. Shut up, right? You know, you don't want to have that conversation then. So I, I would do that. So just make sure that you're using your time at the, at the highest value that you can use it for you because that's what you want to do.